What does the letter O do in Vim? Well, it's actually one of my favorites. It is the third of our insert modes and it allows you to insert above or below the current line. What's up, welcome back to Vim Alphabet. Today is our O day in our journey from A to Z in Vim. Now, O is super important. O is something that I use constantly, all the time. This is probably my most used insert mode uh, because it pairs really well with code. Uh, without any ado, let's open up our editor. Oops, I didn't select a file. I'm going to open the quick brown file. What O does is it allows us to enter insert mode above or below the line that our cursor is on. So if I hit O, it's going to insert a new line right below. Uh, if I undo that and I go down here, if I want to insert below line three, lowercase o does that. This is great for code because usually you're not appending to the end of code or like inserting. I mean, you do regularly, but uh, a lot of times it's like, oh, I need to add a line here, like add a new variable. This is great for that. Now, as you might expect at this point, capital O is going to insert above the current line. As evidenced by this, we're now in insert mode, which allows us to type here. Escape to get out, U to undo. So if you have any questions, you can go to O and it has a very easy, simple, helpful document for you to learn more about O. But it's pretty simple. You basically know everything you need to know about O at this point. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I do my best to respond to those. I'll put a playlist in for all of the other videos in this series. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Tomorrow we will cover P, which is the counterpart to Y, which I don't know why I said that because we haven't learned Y yet. Oh, because we've covered delete and change and all that kind of stuff. So we have stuff in registers that we want to uh, paste somewhere else. And tomorrow we will learn how to do that with P. With P. With P.